In this video, we'll discuss Bolism and Hemibolism. So what's Hemibolism? Hemibolism is a hyperkinetic movement disorder just like chorea and athetosis with sudden onset of violent while flinging large amplitude movements contralateral to the lesion in one or both extremities. Whereas Bolism is a bilateral condition and is much rarer. So Hemibolism is a unilateral condition opposite to the site of the lesion and bolism is bilateral and the movement is wild flinging and of large amplitude movement. It usually affects the proximal large joints, for example, shoulder joint and the hip joint. Why does it occur? It's due to the hemorrhagic or ischemic destruction of the subthalamic nucleus that causes contralateral flinging movements of one or both extremities. Damage to other basal ganglia like putamen can also cause this disorder. Thalamus sends excitatory impulses to the cerebral cortex. There are two and three connections between the cerebral cortex, cerebellum, thalamus and basal ganglia or execution of normal motor impulses in response to sensory impulse. So as I already told is due to a lesion in the subthalamic nucleus. This is the subthalamic nucleus. So it receives excitatory impulses from the cortex. The excitatory impulses are shown in green color and in between the red color. And then this subthalamic nucleus sends excitatory impulses to the globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra. Globus pallidus and substantia nigra then send inhibitory impulses as shown in the red arrows to the thalamus which controls the excitatory impulses which stimulates the cortex. See two arrows, one is thinner and the other one is a wider one. So normally it sends excitation to the cortex with a thinner green arrow. So what's the mechanism of the hemi a lesion of the subthalamic nucleus or striatum or putamen causes abnormal movements of bellism or hemibellism. Why this occurs? So the lesion of the subthalamic nucleus abolishes the excitatory impulses to the globus pallidus and substantia nigra so that the inhibitory impulses from the globus pallidus and substantia nigra that inhibit the ventrolateral thalamus, they are abolished because the excitation of globus pallidus and substantia nigra are dependent on the excitatory impulses from the subthalamic nucleus. A loss of excitatory impulses from the subthalamic nucleus causes decrease in the inhibitory impulses from the globus pallidus and substantia nigra to the ventrolateral thalamus. So the ventrolateral thalamus sends more excitatory impulses as shown by the white green arrow to the cortex so that the impulses from ventrolateral thalamus are increased and uncontrolled causing Hemibolism. Now the causes of hemibolism, trauma, tumor, tubercloma, stroke, hemorrhagic or ischemic, ALS, non-ketotic hyperglycemia and vascular malformation. Now the complications of hemibolism. The condition is usually self-limiting and resolves spontaneously after weeks to months. The complications are dehydration, exhaustion and injury and death may occur in severe cases. So what's the difference between between the hemibolism and chorea because both are hyperkinetic disorder. In hemibolism, movements occur in a proximal joint, whereas in chorea, the movements are in the distal limb. And number two, there are more dance like flowing movements from one region to another in chorea. And chorea is due to a lesion in the globus pallidus, and hemibolism is due to a lesion in the subthalamic nucleus. Now, treatment of hemibolism. As I already told, it's a self limiting condition. But if the treatment is required, propranolol, phenytoin, and clonazepam among the antipsychotics, haloperidol and chlorpromazine. The other drugs used are baclofen. It may be used as intrathically or botulinum injections are also useful. And in extreme and severe cases, pelidotomy is effective.